What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, we're back in Belinden. I think I might have told a few people wrong in my comments. I think I kept calling it Baladin, like Paladin. Um, so we're at Belinden um, Gateway, where uh, the the war for Lug continues. Um, however, it's actually taken quite a turn. If you check the gal net, there's been a few things. A, um, the Hartsfield Market, which was another station run by, I think it was Lou for Equality. Um, where did that go? Battle is won. Yeah. Um, the Federation control and Luke system is quickly unraveling. Late last night, an insurgent force finally broke through the federal strong points aboard Hartsfield Market and insurgent blah, 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 blah. Basically, they took the station, so Hartsfield is now under Crimson State Group, I believe. I might be inaccurate saying that. Um, there is a basically retaliating force building in Quareshi Enterprise um, for the uh, Federation, but most importantly, Navy withdrawals from Lug. Um, so, following last night's special session, Congress has decided to temporarily pull the Federal Navy from active duty in Lug. So basically, for lack of a better term, we're winning. Um, it's now come down to the loyalist party for the feds of Lou for equality. And yes, I know I'm changing how I say this system like four times every sentence. Sue me. Um, it's just because I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. It could be lug, lug, lu, lug. I don't know. <laughs> but when we check the bulletin board, you can see we're so close to ninth tier, which I'm pretty sure means if we get there, we win. Um... There's over 19 billion credits earned um, in the globe in the global progress, which is crazy. I myself have put in 1.2 million of that, which is also kind of crazy. Um, I'm still maintaining my 40% bracket. I've I've fallen in and out of that bracket here and there. Um, I did another run yesterday, and it ended up putting me back in the 40%. So I'm still there. I did the math, and if I did my calculation right, I think I need to put in another, like, 1.5 million credits into the pot in order to be in the top 5%. But as close as we are, it says we have five days left. It isn't going to last that long. This is going to be over with probably, like, today, if not maybe tomorrow. But more than likely, it's going to end up ending like late tonight or something well technically you're seeing this the day after i'm recording it so i'm recording this on wednesday so by the time you're watching this this event may in fact be over um so my goal for today at the moment is pretty much just to do this run six or seven times as many times as it takes i think if i again if i did my math right if i average about 150 grand per run um, I think I'm gonna end up needing to do like six runs or something. And what I mean by runs is go attack things until I'm out of ammo or shield boosts and then basically go back. Um, there's also a conflict zone right outside of loot 2. That's new. That wasn't there before. And it's a low intensity. So it's closer and it's a low intensity. That music to my ears. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head out to the conflict zone and do a run real quick. Um, and see where it puts us, because if I could get into the top 5%, which I think I can, if I did my math right, the problem is gonna be holding it there. But I think I can do it. Um, I think I can hold, or I think I can get into the top 5. The question is gonna be if I'm still there by the time the event ends, which that... That I don't know. That'll just depend on everybody else playing and how diehard some of these fans and players are. Because some people, like, I play all kinds of stuff. So I spend, you know, like, every day I pick a different game when I'm not recording and, like, I'm going to play this one. Um, 
I've been going back through and playing a lot of the Arkham games recently. I've been on such a Batman kick. I think it was because I saw a trailer for Arkham Knight, and I'm so excited. Um, and in case you all were wondering, I am totally going to do a Let's Play on that. Because I, I want to do that so bad. Um, I am still debating on um, possibly doing a Bloodborne series. Uh, I think what I might do is I might just make an episode and then just try it out. And you guys can comment on uh, whether or not you want to see more of it or, you know, drop it or whatever. Um, and that'll probably just give me the a, a good gauge on whether or not uh, it, there's any room for it on my channel. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm definitely going to do an Arkham Knight playthrough because that, I mean, it's just... It's Batman! <laughs> um, but more importantly, it looks amazing. I mean, the from what I read, Arkham Knight is supposed to have a map that's five times bigger than Arkham City, which is kind of amazing. And then there's like the whole Batmobile, and the graphics are amazing because they built it for next-gen systems, and just, well, can't wait. I can't wait. I know they delayed it again, but I can't wait. Um, so, in case anyone was wondering, if we got any Batman fans watching, I'm totally doing that when it comes out. But, that's beside the point. The point here is that I've been playing a lot of different games. Um, I've always been that way. I've, I've, there's only a few genres that I really don't get into, but... Um, there's some people that I know that it's like, that. this is like elite or whatever pick a game that's like the one game they play and they're just masters at it kind of thing um i feel like i just dropped into the middle of a hot zone um oh we do have an anaconda in here ouchie Um, and in case anyone was wondering, I did retrofit my ship with, um, I took out the, uh, cargo rack. And I put in the, um, hull reinforcement things again. In case anyone was wondering. Why am I, why am I always getting attacked by, like, things that aren't my target? It's like I'm dealing with the anaconda, and then I'm just getting shot in the back by who knows what other ship is around my area. Makes no sense. I mean, I can understand, like, stray shots, but when they're just peppering you from behind, you're just kind of like, Why? Go away. I do love when it tells me I'm under attack. It's like, yeah, no kidding. Give me that power plant, buddy. Show me the power plant. I'm totally gonna like run right into him. I know, I have like a terrible dog fighting style. See, like, why am I getting hit from both targets? What does this other target want with me? Go away. Oh, now there's three targets shooting at me. Great. It's great. I wouldn't use nearly as many of my shield boosts if I didn't have to take on like nine things at one time. I can understand- it's like I don't mind getting shot at by the thing I'm shooting, but it does really get annoying when there's like two other ships from out of nowhere that just decide, hey, you're attacking something, I'm gonna shoot at you. Alright, alright, alright. Almost got him, almost got him. Alright, I'm going all in. There we go, we got him. Come on, blow up already. There we go. Woo! That's how you start off an episode, taking out an anaconda. You don't look like you're doing too hot, buddy. Let me help you out with that. 
Um, that is one thing that I have been trying to do is, I know that I'm not in the biggest ship or anything, but I've been trying to focus on um, the heavier ships because basically they give you more credits. Um, yeah! I didn't even... Oh yeah, I guess I did take him out. I like how I'm playing cleanup over here. I'm just flying in after the things are all busted up. Oh no 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 no! Oh good, he got his shields back up. Keep your shields up, buddy. No 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 no! Come on, I wanna get him! I wanna get him! I wanna get him! Yes! Totally cult kill stole that. I don't even care. I'm making tons of money. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even care. Um, though... Oh, there we go. I was like, um, I noticed at that checkpoint, not the checkpoint, the convoy from the last episode, that it had a finite number of enemies, which was weird. That there came a point where, like, nothing was showing up kind of thing, and it kind of freaked me out for a minute. Um... Under attack. But... Um, I've noticed that combat zones don't. They usually, like, the, the battleground will move around, but there's almost always enemies and stuff in there somewhere. And by the way, these asps, they have a ton of armor. Or not armor, shields and armor, actually. Like, they're kind of heavy duty. You wouldn't really expect them to be that tough for an, a, a ship that's supposedly built for exploration, but... These things can take a beating. And they're fairly maneuverable, actually. I mean, they're not super fast or anything, but they're they're pretty maneuverable. And I also have noticed... I don't know, this might just be me. This might just be me making something out of nothing. Um, but it seems like... In the story of the game... When your faction is doing well, like the Crimson State Group or something, it seems like the, um, fighting the Federation and stuff isn't as hard. Like I said, that might just be me seeing something that isn't there, um, but it seems to me anyway- oh, dang it, I didn't get that one. It sucks. Ooh. Tell me he's not in a wing. I've learned not to go after anacondas and stuff that are in wings, that's just kind of a- a bad idea overall. Um, actually, going after them at all can be a bad idea, but if they're in a wing, it's really not a good idea. <laughs> for me, anyway. Um, if I was in an anaconda or a clipper or something that's a bigger, badder ship, might not be as big of a deal, but the, um... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if that's just luck of the draw, or if it's just, like I said, me making something out of nothing. Um, connecting dots that aren't there, which is possible. But... Uh, uh, I don't want to go head-to-head -head with an anaconda. That's not smart. Not smart at all. Um, but yeah, it does seem like when the feds are losing overall, then they're not as hard to fight, and vice versa when it's the other faction. Like, whatever faction is winning the quote-unquote war, um, it seems like they're the ones that are easier to... It might just be that there's more allies. That's possible, too, I suppose. Uh, I'm not really sure. Just kind of seems that way. Boom! Kicking butt and taking names. And, by the way, this is different than a normal run for me when I was talking about like I needed to do like six more runs or something. I've never taken out more than two anacondas and like a python and then had to go back. So not even having used my heat sinks yet, or not heat sinks, my uh, shield boost yet. This is weird. I'm loving it. Um, like this is definitely a lot more fun and I'm making a lot more money than I have before, but this is not normal for me. I really think it's all the allies that's probably what's doing it. Like, there's just like a ton of people here that are helping me out. 
AI NPCs, I mean. Why are both of my chain guns firing? There we go. Oh, one's reloading. Yes, I'm going to kind of be constantly under attack, lady. I need to let my... Energy come back. Alright, give her all she's got, Captain! Yeah! Uh. Tearing it up out here! Ah, oh, come on. Where'd he go? Oh, he is in a wing, but there's enough people here that are playing, like, back up that I'm not really worried about it. Wow! You know that you're just dominating when you end up destroying their hull before you end up destroying their power plant? Because with as many things that are hitting this guy, I'm thinking his hull might go down first. No, I guess not. Eh, maybe. Yep, his hull's probably gonna go first. Oh man, alive! We're already at 186 grand! Holy guacamole! I don't think I've done this good in... ever. Um... And I'm still amazed that I haven't used a single shield booster yet. That's amazing to me. I'm not joking, like, I've, even when I'm off camera, I've literally never had this much success in a combat zone. Alright, come here, buddy. The explorers are a little bit harder to maneuver around than an anaconda that's this big, clunky battle cruiser. Right, come here, buddy. I don't want to hurt you, I just want like all the credits from killing you. Like that. Come on. Oh, thank you. Was that 14? Dang, man, we are just racking up the monies. I'm just gonna chill with this group. Like, whoever is assisting me right now is just doing a phenomenal job. I guess technically I'm assisting them, because I just kind of swooped in and they were already fighting, but, you know. I like to feel like I'm more important than I am. <laughs> Woo! A little bit, uh, a little bit close there. What was that? Come back here. Oh, come on, don't don't pull out of the pack now. I need my I need my backup over here. I really hate that my multi cannons are out of sync at the moment. It's kind of driving me nuts. I wish there was a manual reload button. Come on. Come to Papa. Okay, let's wait and get a little closer. Careful, dude. You can get clipped. Ow! What was that? It felt like a... Oh, come on! Most of that was my ammo, dang it. Uh, I don't 
see anything bigger on the map at the moment. Oh, he's trying to run. Let me get, let me get in on this kill. Let me get in on it. Eh, can I get it? Yes. I have no shame in that. <laughs> None. None whatsoever. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, another python. Yes, please. Ooh, there's a lot more red dots over here, though. This one might actually be a problem. Under attack. Alright, come here, buddy. Papa. Yeah, I am, I am noticing that. There are a lot more green ships out here. That might be what's making this feel a lot easier. Just show me that pretty power plant. No, you don't. Where are you going? Eh. I'm just gonna start hitting you with everything, buddy. Woo! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa! Whoa! We are uber close. Hi, buddy. Hello there. Um, where's my panel? Now this one is in a wing, so unless I get people to back me up, this might be very dumb. But he kind of looks like we're clustered in here with all the ally ships, anyway. So. We can probably pull this off. We'll just be another gun in the in the fray. Look at all this madness, though. This is crazy. Get those shields down. Oh wow, we are almost out of chain gun ammo. This has almost never happened to me before, by the way. Um, we're almost out of multi cannon ammo, and I have not used a shield booster yet. That's or shield cell. That seems... that's like never ever happened to me. I've always had to fight a bit harder than that before I ran out of ammo. I mean, I've always had to like r use shield cells and stuff before I ran out of ammo. That This is weird. This is odd and I'm loving every second of it. Alright, I am in a very nice spot to kill this guy. Ooh, I don't want him to blow up though. Ouch. Alright. Gosh. I should probably check and see how much money we made. This is not a gold standard for me though. Like if you're watching this going, dang, you can make tons of money. Well, apparently you can. But this is completely out of the ordinary for me. On our way in, 276 grand that I've made so far, and I haven't even used a shield cell. This is so much fun! Best game ever! Or best day ever is more accurate. <laughs> like, I may end up, if I keep it this rate, I am, may end up getting in one, in, in one final run what I said I needed, which would be kind of awesome. I haven't actually done the math to see what I would need to get into the top 15%. And in case anyone was wondering, because um, I was just thinking about this myself, 
Um, you might notice that I switch between... Oh, jeez. I almost clipped that anaconda's nose. Um, you might notice that I switch between my lasers and my multi-cannons. Uh, the reasoning for that is they technically both use energy or heat. Or no, energy, I mean. So, I don't want to use them both because then I'll burn through my, um, my weapon power. So I kind of switch off. If I'm below half or something on my on the pulse laser beams, you can kind of see what your weapon power is at. Um, and if I'm below half or something, then I try not to use them both. That's just my strategy thing. I mean, that you can use them both. I've done it before when I'm really pushing and trying to get rid of a, a target. Oh, heck no. You're not going anywhere. Like this. If they're going to charge up and try and jump, then now I just put everything on them. But you can see that I'm almost out of my my heat, uh, energy on the pulse laser meter there. Oh, what? I totally got the last hit on that guy. That's crap. I mean, sure. These guys deserve some credit. They've been, like, helping me take out everybody under the sun today. But still, that was totally my kill. Like, that one was actually legit. I wasn't actually kill-stealing from anybody. That was, like, a legitimately my kill. Ah, here we go. I was gonna say, I was like, there's gotta be bigger fish out here. Okay... Maybe this one will actually give me to- give it to me. Alright. Time to go at it again. I cannot believe I haven't used a single shield cell. Wow, he hit me from that far away. Nice shot. Oh, I'm almost about to be out of ammo in my multi cannons completely. That's interesting. One's out. Looks like my left one. Gosh. Why can't I get around on him? Hey, come here, buddy. I want to close the gap get in under a kilometer, I think. Okay, so at this point, this rarely happens, but I'm basically switching over to my other um, hardpoint set. Uh, because basically what this set is for is for shield cells and all weapons, but I rarely use the all weapon side of it. I normally just use the... Um... Oh wow, look at his hull! When did that happen? Um, so I switched to this when I'm out of ammo because it's still only going to use my pulse lasers since I'm, well, out of ammo in my multi-cannon. Um, but that way I can just tap my secondary fire and use my shield cells as well. Okay, come on, dude. Seriously. You gotta be joking me. I want last hit, Dagnabbit, and I'm running out of power. Get back. He's gonna jump. He's probably gonna jump before I can kill him. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Come on already! Yes! Wow! That took forever! Alright. So I'll wait for my weapons to come back. I still have all four shield cells. That's so crazy. We're up to 300,000. That is kind of nuts. I've literally never done this well, ever. Okay, now at that point, we'll put it at this. Like, this is so awesome. Okay, we got Explorer. Anything else? Oh, got something bigger. I have noticed it seems to put the more threatening ships up at the top. So if you'll notice, that's why I keep, like 
looking up here, and like the bottom are, are these little condors. So that's why. Oh, probably flew too close to him and didn't realize it. Oh no, I just got popped by somebody random. Now this should be interesting because pythons actually have some pretty tough armor. So without my multi cannons, this could actually take a while to wear him down to the point that I could kill him. I mean, obviously the beam lasers work better on shields, but when you get to the hull, eh, they're not always that effective. I will say the nice part is where these hard points are on the Viper, my, um... Ouchie. 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 My, uh... Oh, wow. I'm getting lit up over here. My, um... Whoa! Hi! Pretty sure that was another enemy. Um... Yeah, see, now this is getting a little tougher, but I'm noticing there's a lot less of these green blips right around me. So that's probably the reason. Um, Alright, I'm gonna pop one of these shield cells. Let's boogie a little bit. If I could just separate him from his group, it might, it might pay off a bit better. But I can't seem to break him apart. See, that's the problem, is, like, I can do one-on-one, -on -one, but I tend to get hit more from the people around them than the actual um, target that I'm trying to kill. For reasons unknown. And this is just how quick the tide can change. Uh, that now I'm kind of, like, trying to get away from everybody and stuff. And I've already used a, a, a shield cell, so... Um, it's really not good to lull yourself into a sense of like, yeah, I can... T I mean, unless you actually have a ship to back it up that can just take a beating, but... Mine is like, my shields are really good, but once you get through my shields... Eh, it's kind of anybody's game as to whether or not I'll make it out. I wish there was a way to talk to the NPCs, like, hey, get this guy off of my butt. Because if you look at my radar, this blinking one is just not leaving me alone. Like, whatever it is, it's all about me right now. And it's kind of annoying. Because it's doing more- whatever it is, it's probably one of those stupid eagles or something, but it's doing more damage to me than the python is. Which is really frustrating. Um, and I don't know why, but my shields come back so slow. Like, so slow. I don't really know why, but they just do. Get in on him. Gosh, and he's still behind me. Whatever this little dude is that's just pecking at me, it's really aggravating. The real irony is this python isn't even part of a wing or anything. Like, I'm not even getting attacked by his companions or whatever. I'm just getting attacked from a random ship. Leave me alone. I just want to kill the python. I'm going to fly back towards my green guys here. See if I can get some cover fire. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll bring the uh, python into them. Looks like I might have at least separated him from whatever that little one was. So this is more how it normally goes. Like, it takes forever to kill one of these things. 
and I'm using shield cells and things like that. That original run part that we were doing at the very beginning is not normal. I don't normally get up to 300,000 credits before I start having problems. Ouch, 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 ouch. Alright, bail. Get my shields back up. Wow, he's down to six. I've also noticed that my shield cell bank is a class 2, and my shields are a class 3, so I've also noticed that um, they don't bring my shields all the way back up, which is interesting. I'm going to put engines and weapons for the moment so that I can keep up with him. I'm trying to stay out of the way of whoever's shooting from behind. Let me see if I can get up on his power plant. Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Alright. Get up. I want to stay up on his underbelly here. I think that's his underbelly. Whoop, 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 whoop. Dial it back. He's gonna jump. He's probably gonna get out of here. But I think I can take out his power plant before I can take out his hull. Come on, get those shields down. Dang it, I can't sync up with him. I'm trying to match his speed and it isn't working. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely hit his power plant before I can take out his hull. There he goes. Yep. Just now figured out I was on your underbelly. Ah ha! I got you. All right, I'm I'm venturing. We quit while we're ahead for this one. We're up to 328, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to Balin Balinden, um, and I will meet you guys there. All right, so we are back at Balinden or whatever it's called. Let's refuel. Um, where are we at? Did we get bumped? Still in the 40. Okay, now let's claim our combat bonds. 330 grand. Mm. 2.8 million is what we're currently sitting on. Never thought that would happen. Still in the top 40. So we didn't end up breaking into the top 15, um, but we're getting there. Like I said, I think I, I think I have to put in like 2.3 million earned to be in the top five. So probably like 1.8 is top 15 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at that little bar up there. I'm guessing we have to get to 20 billion credits earned. Um, for it to be the end of the event. And last night, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but last night it was about here-ish uh, before I went to bed. So I'm guessing we're going to see, by the time you're watching this video, I'm guessing the event will be over, is I guess my point. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to wrap things up for this episode here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!